So today we're talking about upgrading one of these cheap hydraulic hose crimpers that have the manual pump that you see here. I'm gonna show you how we install this air over hydraulic actuated pump you see here. Now the big benefit of adding one of these pumps is it's significantly faster and easier than having to manually crimp this thing. And this pump can be set on the floor and you just use your foot leaving both hands up here free to hold your hose and your fittings. On the back side of the pump here, we'll have a red plug that we install our air fitting in. Now, in the kit, it does come with a weirdo air fitting, but I've never seen one of these, this style. Uh, so we're just gonna use the kind that I use in my shop. It did come with Teflon tape. Here, on the opposite side of the pump, we have another plug. We have to remove this. So this takes a 5 16 Allen head. And when I blow this on the ground, it's... All right, let's install our hydraulic hose that came with the kit. Both the ends on this are the same. We're gonna install some Teflon tape on one end, and we're gonna screw directly into this side of the pump. Okay, that is installed into the outlet of the pump. So now we need to plumb that into our actual crimper. Now, if you wanted to keep the operation of both the manual hydraulic pump and the air over hydraulic powered pump, you would have to put a T in line here, but I'm not interested in keeping the hand pump, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the tool. So we have our pump here removed. Now we're gonna go ahead and steal this fitting out of our hand pump. I'll show you why in a minute. But we need to be able to adapt our 3 8 MPT hose to an O-ring style 3 8 fitting, which is included if you pull that out of the old hand pump. So 3 8 MPT, and 3 8 o-ring style so something that you won't have with the pump kit is that female adapter and here is our 3 8 female coupler so we'll just be screwing in like this and in theory screwing in like this but we're not ready to put all this together because with the kit comes with a quick disconnect. So we can install this so in the future we can quickly remove the pump from the actual crimping tool without losing any fluid. So we have this portion of our quick connect. We're gonna go ahead and put it on the adapter out of our manual pump. Now before connecting that fitting here, I am going to reconfigure this hose and gauge setup Okay, this is what feels more comfortable for me. That way I can work, I can be holding the hose on this side while keeping an eye on my fitting getting crimped and keep an eye on the pressure gauge. So we need to hook up this to the pump. Now when you're hooking up these O-ring style fittings, you don't have to put any Teflon tape on those, but don't forget to put Teflon tape in all these MPT or uh, pipe thread type fittings. By the way, this 3 8 MPT female coupler I'm using is actually for gas pipe. Now, when you're working with hydraulic systems, you're actually supposed to use stainless steel connectors that are rated for higher pressures. But for the pressures that I'll be operating this tool at, this will be fine. So while they ship this pump full of oil, they keep the vent closed, so you need to back that off before you use it. Hooked up the air. Got to put my dies in. This is kind of slow. All right, let's go ahead and crimp us on a fitting and we will time it and see how much faster this is over the old manual method. So we're at our 
4,000 PSI on the gauge. That means we got a solid crimp. Now to relieve the pressure, we have our pumping portion. And then if you kick this side of the pump, that relieves all the pressure. Look at that. I am very happy with that. We're gonna do a speed run, see how fast I can crimp this fitting with the manual pump. And go. Oh, okay. Almost a minute and 10 seconds. <laughs> that, that was tough. Well, this is a very solid upgrade to this tool and I would highly recommend this over the manual pump setup that it comes with. Do keep in mind, this makes the tool less mobile. So if you're gonna be doing your hydraulic hoses on the road, on site, wherever, pretty often, you need to keep that in mind because you probably won't have compressed air on site. All right, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Keep